Have you ever been in a legally confusing situation and you weren't sure what to do? Those days are over. Listen to Sabi Law on the Beat 97 to know what's up. Sabi Law is up every Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 8.55 a.m. Exclusive to the Beat 97 ABJ. Hello Abuja. Welcome to today's edition of Sabi Law on the Beat FM. I remain Onyekachi Uma and today I am with Kenechuku Agu. So, gentlemen and ladies, we'll be look, looking at uh, agreements, contracts, memorandum, call mention them, <laughs> you <No>. know, <laughs> all of them, yeah. So, the question is, so many times, people would sit down, write agreements, and they feel the agreement is not valid. Let's take it to a lawyer. Let's take it to a law firm. Worst case, let's take it to a court staff. Even a belief yeah, or a no cheap public. Let them sign because it's only when they sign that the agreement becomes valid. That's the thinking of the people. Yeah. You know, but by the end of this uh, discussion, you're gonna find out that the thinking or their thinking may not be correct. So Mr. Kenichuku is gonna lead us in this discussion. All right, so I feel the issue is that there are some some lawyers, I'm sorry to say, that um, use that to get extra money from their client. <laughs> like, say for instance, if I, I help you draft an agreement and I'm tell you we'll have to take it to the court to notarize it, to make it valid and the rest of that. Any agreement between parties, parties here, I mean Mr. A, Mr. B, it will be Mr. Lai, Mr. Kachi, any agreement between the two parties are valid yes. without the authorization of any lawyer of any court. However, we also advise that you have your lawyers check through your agreements. Have them help you draft the agreements or check with the agreement. But the position of the law is that even if these agreements are written on carton, mm. on pieces of tissue, on the wall, these are agreements and they are binding between the parties. You don't need to go to court to make it binding. I have not seen any law that mandates us to take it to any court to make it valid you understand so agreements are naturally binding on their makers and even without the stamps of the court no person needs this, the the stamp of any court for an agreement to be valid in any part of of nigeria and even beyond but they, however yeah. however a power of attorney may be taken to a judge magistrate or a notary public for authentication just to enable to just to enable the court assume that the power of attorney was validly made, right? This does not apply when the content of a power of attorney are unlawful. Generally, the practice of taking agreements apart from power of attorneys to court is a huge waste of resources. Power of attorneys are the exceptions because, like, for instance, in a power of attorney, you are donating an authority to yes. somebody to do something on your behalf. And to avoid fake. So, and uh, to be sure that I'm that scams. what I'm asking you to hold or work on my behalf is something I have the powers to do, so you have to take those to court to authenticate. But simple agreements like contract agreements, you don't need to take them to any court to authenticate. So, them. so, so that means you know, most of when there is a, a sale of land, you have yep. power of attorney, you have a deed, and the rest. Mm -hmm. So, what we're trying to say is that the power of attorney may be taken to court just for the court to authenticate it or you take it to a notary public for authentication. The authentication only uh, mainly shows that it was really done by the persons who said that they did it. And it's only for a power of attorney. You right? Mm -hmm. Now, when now the deed of uh, sale and the deed of assignment and the rest of them, you don't need that. And then it it also extends that all those other uh, agreements that people bring to court, they are not necessary. You know, so for a lawyer who goes on to deceive clients that uh, one needs to take all agreements to court for the for those like for an agreement to be valid, that is wrong. That's a professional misconduct. And for clients out there, the general public that may believe that agreement will not be valid until it's taken to court, that is wrong. Agreement once done by parties, once done by one or two persons, is valid. 
You don't even uh, even in today's world, you do agreements by men mainly exchanging text messages, WhatsApp messages, and the rest of it. So you don't need lawyers for that. All right, there are a lot of authorities and cases on this, and because of our time, we can't list all of them. You can visit our website at www.learnnigerianlaws.com to see all the authorities we have on this subject and authorities on other areas of law as well. Thank you very much. Go Sabi Law. Have you ever been in a legally confusing situation and you weren't sure what to do? Those days are over. Listen to Sabi Law on the Beat 97 to know what's up. Sabi Law is up every Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 8.55am. Exclusive to the Beat 97 ABJ.